Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to tap into the true intentions of the person that is on your mind when it comes to love. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign. Also feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the overall energy of this person's true intention toward you currently is the Knight of Pentacles, all right? So someone's coming toward you. This person, um, they want to offer to you. I feel like they're moving very slow. For some of you, you'll receive an offer from this person within the next month, okay? That's for some of you. But I feel like this person is moving slow deliberately because I feel like the way they, they're coming toward you is very strategic. It's like they're planning, they're plotting, they're trying to figure out the best way to come toward you, okay? Because at the bottom of the deck is the five of swords. So this is someone that you don't completely trust or they've played games with you in the past, okay? So yeah, someone's definitely coming toward you with an offer, all right? Um... I'm going to let you guys know ahead of time before I pull any more cards that the audacity of this reading is going to be at an all time high. Okay, <laughs> like the audacity of the things that come out is going to be at an all time high. I already know because as I was meditating and as I was shuffling the things that I saw, I didn't like. Okay. All right. So, yeah. See, look. The Five of Swords with the Devil beside it. This is someone, and I don't want to just... I was trying to avoid this word, but I feel like this person is very narcissistic. Or they have some... They're either a narcissist or they have narcissistic tendencies, okay? I feel like this offer that they're making you, something's not right about it, okay? Okay? I feel like this person, they want to conquer you. They want to dominate over you. This is someone that's very possessive. They may even be toxic. They want to win you over at all costs. This person may also be very materialistic, okay? Very materialistic. Oh. For some of you, they're... Um, they may be jealous... They may be jealous of the things that you have, something about your material possessions, whether it's money, your home, your vehicle, even if you have a, um, some of you that have like a very good traditional family life, okay? Like if your family, you, the, you guys get together for gatherings and things such as that. For some of you, they're even jealous of that or they envy that. that that's not for everyone, but for some of you, this person's envious. Regardless, they're very materialistic and I don't like it, okay? This is someone that's toxic. I feel as though if you move them into your home, they would bring toxicity into your home. They will also dominate over you. This is the type of energy that, or try to dominate over you. This is the type of energy that, um, like, they would try to control everything that you do. They're going to be coming toward you very charming, I do see that for some of you, they, they want to um, talk to you about going out on a date or the two of you doing something together. This person, they're someone, they don't have a lot to offer you. They may even be going through money problems, okay? But yeah, they want to talk to you. There's something about your life that this person, is it entices them. This is weird. This is really weird. For some of you, they're going to be expressing emotion to you. Okay. They may express some emotion. It may not be a whole lot of emotion, but I see them wanting to express emotion. But be careful that this person is not trying to pull the wool over your eyes or um, that they're not coming with illusions. Because with the Queen of Cups, along with the Seven of Cups, it's almost like they're going to try to play on your emotions. Okay. This person's also watching you. They're trying to see if you have any other options. They could be asking around about you, researching you or something of that nature. But they're watching you very closely. See, look at this. The Five of Swords with the Two of Cups. 
I feel like the two of you, um, this person, they have a very deep connection to you. Okay. A very deep connection to you, but this is someone that would play off of your soft spot. See, there's something not right about, about why they want this connection in the first place. There's something very, um, not on the up and up about it. Like something's not right here. I don't like it. I don't like it. They regret things that they've done to you in the past. This person is also, um, they're the type that even if you think that they would move on with their life or like they don't care about things that happened between the two of you in the past, they're actually very much stuck on it. They want you stuck in the past. They regret not giving to this connection sooner. They feel like you are their soulmate. They feel like this is a divine union. But see, the thing about it is their feelings are not matching up with their actions. Their actions are coming off as um, like they want to trick you or... Something's off. They're going to play on your soft spot. They know for some of you, they think you still have a soft spot for them. And they're going to use that to their advantage. They're going to try to use it to their advantage. See, the reason why they want this connection is for their own selfish gain. They're selfish. If there's something that they want from you and for some of you they may need a place to live for others of you they want money for some of you they want just to dominate over you because i feel like when it comes to you they feel as though other people are interested and they don't want anyone else to have you this is some weird energy see they want to come together with you and for some of you they regret they had another lover in the mix and they regret coming together with that other person but they are um coming off with single energy so even if they're with a third party currently they don't act like they're with someone they act single when they're out and about for some of you they're going to tell you that they're single for some of you, you've told them that you want to be single from them. They like your independence. They like you don't they like the fact that you don't need anyone, that you can stand on your own. They also see that you're celebrating. There's good things coming in for you, or you're gonna be celebrating these good things coming in. See, it's like you are the nine of um pentacles, someone that's can stand on their own. You you may be doing well for yourself financially. If you're not as of yet, you will be. And this person is the page of Pentacles, someone that's barely getting by. See, the Knight of, I'm sorry, the King of Swords came out. So this is someone very strategic. They think they're smart. It's almost like they think they're smarter than you. They know that you have a lot of love to give. And here they are with this not with this king of swords energy where they want to be cold and detached. So they're going to try to play off of your feelings. <sighs> be careful that this person isn't like painting an illusion of happiness for you because I feel like they're going to try to make you think they have a lot to offer and that they can make you happy when in reality all they have is a lot of confusion surrounding them and for a lot of you I feel like this person like they want a piece of what you have they see you doing well financially or they feel as though you have the potential to this is someone that um I feel like they do want growth with you. I don't see them going anywhere. For some of you, they're spying to see if there's someone else in the picture. They're watching you very closely. For some of you, they're watching you at work. That's come out before in another reading. 
if they don't know where you work, they're they're watching you. Like it's almost like they they're seeing you glow up. They're seeing your money increase or they're seeing that you're doing better than you were before. Like everything is happening for you. They see that and they want a piece of it. Oh. I knew something was going to be off. And this reading, guys, this person is all over the place. This is not cut and dry. They want you to be stuck on the past. Their true intention is for you not to get over them. They don't want you to get over them. I feel like they're also pissed at themselves about things that they've done in the past. But this is definitely narcissistic energy. And I'm getting like opportunist vibes. They definitely want to come together with you and spend time together or maybe go out or something like that. But they're afraid of someone else coming and snatching you up because they feel like you are highly sought after. Even if you don't feel that way, they feel that way. It's almost like um, they know that you're a good catch and they don't want anyone else to catch you or to get you. That was weird. I knew it was going to be a lot of foolery. Ugh. Okay, so let's get more. Give me more about this person's true intention. Holy Spirit, what is this person's true? Look at this. The Five of Swords and the Magician. See, that's them trying to get their way with you at all costs. This is someone. Be careful with, with this person. Give me more about this person's true intentions. Holy Spirit, what is, what is this person's true intentions? What are their true intentions currently? Two more shuffles. Oh, I don't like it. So they're coming with an offer, but that overall energy that I just went over, that's what's behind this offer. Oh, okay, so we have the King of Cups here. So, see, that's the thing. They don't want to put in the, the work on an emotional level. This is someone that does not want to do the emotional work. They don't want to, it's almost like they don't want to fall in love. They're in love, but they don't want to be in love because they don't like feeling vulnerable. This is someone that feels like they have to be in control at all times. I feel like they're going to come with, remember, I told you a little bit of emotion. And then right when you start pouring out your emotions, they're going to stop. They're not going to do it as much. Their intention is to also to stop you from falling in love with anyone else. Give me more about this King of Cups. Why is that here for this person's true intentions? They want you to fall in love with them. Look at this, the Knight of Swords in reverse. They're going to, they don't want you falling in love with anyone else. They want to stop anyone from coming toward you. They're willing to pursue you aggressively. This person's reckless. They're trying to make your emotions be out of control for them. It's like, oh my goodness. And what I mean by they're trying to make your emotions be out of control, it's like they want you to not be able to help yourself when it comes to them. Like they want you to be crazy about them from an emotional standpoint, crazy in love with them. Give me more about this um, Knight of Swords in reverse. Why is that here for this person's true intentions? Look, Seven of Swords. They want, if you've been avoiding them, they want to make that stop. They want, they want to make that stop. 
they also want to um they're trying to figure out how to get you to trust them again because you view them as sneaky they want you to believe their lies with no thought about it because the knight of swords in reverse this is someone that doesn't think before they they act so they want you to just believe whatever it is that they say even when they're lying they want you to believe their lies Give me more about this Seven of Swords. Why is that here with this person's true intentions? The Hermit. See, they want you to stop avoiding them. They feel like you've been isolating yourself. They want you to be in love with them. There's something about you loving this person that strokes their ego. It's almost like they want to sneak and do whatever they want to do in peace. Like they just don't want you to shed any light on any of their lies. So they want they want to build the trust with you again. But behind the scenes, they're still going to be sneaky. Give me more about this four of swords. Why is that here for this person's true intentions? They don't want you to have emotions for anyone else. See, the world card is here. So those of you that haven't been putting in a lot of effort toward this person, they they want that to stop. They want to bring an end to that. And they're going to do whatever it takes in order to get you to want a new beginning with them or to have a new beginning with you. See, they're doing a lot of things secretly. They're going to play off of your emotions because they feel like you've been turning your back on them. And for some of you, if they know that that's what you've been waiting for, for them to show you emotion, that's what they're going to do. But it's all for their own gain. Give me more about this five of swords. Why is that here? See, they want you to be stuck in your head. Judgment. They don't want you to be able to make a decision um, when it comes to moving on. They want to change whatever decision you made. If you've been avoiding them, they want to change that. They don't want it to be set in stone. They want you to still feel that, that close bond to them. See, they're going to try to put you in your head. This is someone that wants you to be obsessed with them. Because they're obsessed with you. They want you to... They want it to be to the point where you can only think about them. They want to trap you. They want to trap you. Give me more about this Eight of Swords. This is crazy. See, they want to trap you from ending things or stop you from ending things with them. They don't want it to be over. They want to heal things. So they want you to feel like you can't leave them alone. How are they going to make it? How are they going to, how are they planning to do this spirit? How are they planning to do this where they're going to try to make it where my viewers can't leave them alone? How are they going to do this? Give me a specific message. How are they going to, the five of cups. At the bottom of the deck is the four of wands. So... I feel like there's going to be some past things or past emotions that's going to resurface back when you wanted a stable relationship with them. When you wanted happiness with them, they're going to play off of that. They're going to play off your emotions. For some of you, they're going to do it by making it seem like they regret not giving you the relationship you deserve or not making things work. Whatever they did to you, they're going to play off um, your emotions by making you feel as though they regret whatever it is that they done, that they did to you. See, look, the, the Queen of Cups is right below that. They're going to play off of your emotions. So they're trying to make it where you won't be won't get over them. 
and they're gonna do it by showing regret or being remorseful that's how they're gonna do it my goodness oh this is a whole lot a whole lot of Ugh, I don't like it at all. I'm not saying this person doesn't have any feelings for you. I do feel like they have feelings for you. I do. But the energy behind it, like this is very dark. It's like they want to dominate over you. They want to to um, take over your thoughts. They want to take over your mind. There's a lot of swords here. They want to mess with your mind. And they want to make it so that you are not able to leave them completely alone. That's what they want. Some of you have already left them alone. And that's where this five of cups come in and comes in crossing. Because they don't want you to get over them. The five of cups in reverse would be you getting over the past. It came out crossing. So whatever you wanted from this person in the past, they're going to try to play on that. And they're going to come off like they regret whatever they did to you. Oh, my goodness. Okay, give me one more card. Um, Holy Spirit for this person's true intentions. See, they want to talk. They want to talk about meeting up. They want to talk about dating dating again maybe going out for some of you they want an intimate encounter with you but they want to talk so for some of you you're going to be getting communication from this person for some of you they want a child if the two of you don't already have children or even if you do already have children if you're able to have children they want a child they may want a child with you give me one more card clarify this page of wands get one more card before i end the reading give me more about this page of wands why is that here see page of cups and then we have the ten of wands along with the hierophant so at this point, this person, they're going to come with a good talk game. A good talk game. For some of you, they have a lot of kids. Or they may want a lot of children or something. Take that however it resonates. But they want to come toward you with a lot of conversation. So you may... Like all of a sudden, this person may start, you may start hearing from them a lot more. They're going to be talking about a relationship. Okay. But the thing about it is a lot of it has to do with stability. They see you as someone stable. This is someone that would, like I said, opportunist vibes, they would marry someone for money or marry someone for a stable life. Okay. They feel like you have a lot to offer. I just don't like it. It's almost like they want to overwhelm you with emotion or want you to be overwhelmed with emotion. One more card. Look at this. But see, I don't think a lot of you are going to fall for it. See, the seven of cups and at the bottom of the deck, the four of wands, it's illusions. It's illusions. They're trying to they're going to try to cause illusions for you or sell you a dream of a relationship, okay? After an ending, they want you to think they're serious. But see, this is someone that would still end up stabbing you in the back. But they're very controlling and materialistic. Huh. Oh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, and I apologize that this reading came out so negative. I really do, but I can't control what comes out. And I'm going to give it to you guys straight because I'm not going to let anybody get over on you. And you're not going to let anyone get over on you. We're not going to let anyone get over on you, okay? 
All right, so that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.